Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games, and we have some pretty new ones today. Yes, we do. Five today, including one from Brazil. Wow. Which is a tribute to Hero, oh, the Activision nice. game. Nice. And we're also going to be playing <clears throat> an eight player game with two people and two cats. And two cats. <laughs> I mean, they can join they in. Want to. Through the Quad Tari. <coughs> Very nice. An eight player tank game. Tank game. Tank. Okay. Yes. Cool, so, cool. How's that going to be accomplished? We'll find out. <laughs> um, we're also going to be playing Space Taxi, one of my favorite games on the C64. Okay. So somebody's developing that on the 2600 because it's 2600 day. Yay. Yay. Back to your regularly scheduled programming after the. 45th anniversary shows. We'll get to that as well. Uh, we're also going to be playing Duck Race. Quack, quack. Mm -hmm. And uh, also the latest game from Kev Kelly in his long line of we're just doing regular jobs on the 2600. <laughs> yes. This one's Lineman, a person who uh, works on the power lines. Excellent. Okay, yes. Okay. Each cat counts as two people. Yeah. Well, they do Surely. have four paws. Oh, that's so true. They could that play... actually will work out. We have more hands than needed, actually. There you go. Because we have two each. Yep. Um, they have two each. And they each. have four. Well, two if they in the front and two in the back. So it's more than covered. Yeah. It's no problem. We'll, we can play eight people. Um, <laughs> I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers scrolling down the side there beside Tanya. Alna for our arena foot, Arkham H, Armscar Coder, Atari 1974, Atari H, Atari Patch Quest, Beer Poke Up Buck, Owens, Cafe Man 2D, Charles Wheel, Colonel Lama, Dianoid, Dan FC, Dr. Moo, Cows, Gro Gopher Man, Great Offender, Ground Trooper, Joe Rapper, Johnny WC, Carl G, Ken Jennings, Invader, KV8080, Lauren TDZ, Mark Ann is Mark's Basic, Metal Atari, Mick Muse, Mike Soul, Mike Lidham, Mr. Mark, Zarno, Mr. Fix, Not Nostalgia, Nostalgic, Pack Rat Vigi Kohog, R and Schwitz, RC70, Render Ghost, Repentless VG, Six Sweets, Made to Be Spice, Where Esther Mayor is the D Train, The Lost Cartridge, Welshman, Thrust 26, Tiki 10, K, Teat Foes, Trek MD 2600, X Ken X, and just before the show, S Ramirez, TM Events, and Spiceware resubscribe. Thank you. Thank you so much. 39 months for S Ramirez, 7 months for TM Events, and 36 months for Spiceware. Wow. Thank you so Thank you. much. Uh, you can subscribe as well if you want your name on that list. And unending thanks and <laughs> me bumbling your name every time yeah. we do the show. Uh, we have mail. Let's get to the mail. Uh, it is a package from Retro 8-Bit Shop. Ooh, exciting. You know it's good when it has the words Retro and 8-Bit in the title of the company. Nothing but goodness. Yeah. It's got to be fun. Let's see what it is. I know what it is. I'm pretty sure I know what it is. Dan ABC says, if you can teach a cat to ring a bell or even fetch, uh, you can teach them to use controllers. <laughs> we'll yeah. try. Someday yep. we'll try. One day somebody will make a controller mm -hmm. that uh, hooks up to a bell. There you go. Retro 8-Bit Shop. They sell yep. a whole bunch of geeky things. Uh, I thank you. Postcard. No. Thank you. Oh my god, they included a lot of stuff. Nice. A pen! Ooh, I like pens. Look at that. Nice retro, retro 8 bit oh, shop that pen. Is. Oh my god, this thing's full of stuff. Uh, <laughs> I like stuff. A car, two, uh, nice. two cards. For you? A, uh, a, a, stroop, a stroop waffle? Stroop waffle. Mini? Stroop waffle. Or stroop like that. waffle. I have to say it. Authentic Dutch. Like, uh, Belgian or a Ooh, or caramel. Ooh, I'll be having that one. Oh, yeah. That's oh. for you. Yeah. Uh, nice. And very well wrapped. What is this? <laughs> this is not what I expected, actually. Not what you ordered? It may not be what I ordered. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Snacks. Maybe I did order it. Uh, hmm. Okay. Is that what you thought it was? Uh, I thought I ordered a cable from them. Oh, well, you obviously ordered something else, or that's not your order. I th uh... <laughs> okay, I thought I ordered a Commodore 64 cable. Okay. Um, that... Hey, banging the camera. Um, let me check my uh, orders, actually. <laughs> oh, that's from a different company. Oh, okay. I see. There you go. This is... 
That's Luma it. Luma six, Luma fix sixty four. Okay. Which looks like it's an in line. Well, let me open it up. Actually. He can't remember what he ordered. No, it was back. <laughs> it was back ordered. Oh, I see. And uh, the other company <clears throat> is Apic Classics. So oh, it's gotcha. Like, oh yeah. Very close. Very close. Ooh. That's why they gave you lots of extra stuff. That's right, because it was back ordered. Mm -hmm. So uh, this is an inline chip um, that looks like it's for the Commodore 64 that, uh, I don't know, does something. I, I'm not sure. Um, I'm going to look it up, actually. You forgot why you ordered it? Uh, well, it, obviously it fixes <laughs> Luma. <laughs> Let me just look it up. <laughs> Because I really do want to know what it does. It'll all become clear. Bit Shop Luma Fix 64. It sounds like it's for the Commodore 64. There it is. Uh, made to, uh, let's see, Luma Fix 64 is made to easily remove vertical lines you from go. your Commodore 64 image nice. caused by signals also on the VIC 2 video chip. It also has adjustment for the chroma signal that can be help reduce problems related to mostly S video connection on modern TVs, there the dreaded go. checkered pattern. So I ordered that. Also, I ordered an upgrade for the S video, S -video cable. Yeah. Okay. So between them, I should have a very, very nice video out signal. Because okay. we there recently you go. played some Commodore 64 games. Yes, yes. And also we played uh, Impossible Mission as well. Mm -hmm. So I thought, obviously thought was very concerned about the quality of the output. output and yeah. between the two it should look pristine good. hopefully good. or else i wasted my money uh, they both were not very much money so no. that's good no you sure the device is not edible well, <laughs> it Stroke doesn't box. have a chip yeah. in it but um it is for chips maybe it's for dipping chips into <laughs> bad dip, pun dip. i mean it is for dipping chips into really and it does have a uh, dip doesn't have dip switches. Damn it! That would make oh, the pun perfect. Oh, perfect pun! It, yeah. it has dials. It has little adjustments. So, oh, so close, so close. <laughs> Next time I'll have to get one with dip switches. Um, okay, on to the news. Um, there was something posted recently. A new b utility or game made by Vince Weaver slash Dieter, the same person who made that Homestar Runner game, oh, Secret yeah. Collect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's called Floppy Rescue, so I haven't really checked it out. So let's take a look at that. Uh, this is the Harmony. Uh, sorry, the uh, Hero 2 oh. is still... Uh, hopefully that's joystick one. This is very twisted. Yes. <laughs> so hopefully, we'll see. Um, so let's just check that out real quick. And see what that is. Okay, does it move? Oh, wrong one. It is the wrong one. Well, that's good that we unwound those. There you yep. go. But you unwound them. Oh, thank you for following ZD <coughs> Ray 50. So go to today's date. Uh, floppy Rescue at the bottom. And we'll load that up. Can anyone else see this gray cat who's like staring me in the face right now? He's anticipatory. <laughs> Looking at you. Our urban? Yep. Oh, so very nice. Floppy Rescue. Very oh, I can't nice. remember. I guess it's Weaver Productions. I can't remember what his company name was. Okay. Floppy. I don't know what floppy disks have to do with the 2600, other than you could store games a long time ago on floppy disks. Maybe it's an old game. Okay. So uh, press button, I guess. <laughs> oh, I knew what it was. Oh, we got Rickrolled <laughs> on the 2600. <laughs> Probably the first time that has ever happened. So I thought this would be a fun little thing to load up. That's very funny. That's the Wayan Yatuni Yutani logo. logo. Oh, very I don't nice. know that logo. That's pretty good representation of the video. I need to listen to it, though. Oh, a little off, but... <laughs> Our, our bin. I see yeah. what they did there. <laughs> Rickrolling. <laughs> it's 
it's it's got at last Rick Rowling has come <laughs> to the twenty six hundred. It took a while. <laughs> the file name should have given it away. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That is pretty funny. That is a pretty good little video rendition yes. of Rick Astley. It's I have to say, microphone. I'm it's, quite impressed with that. It's got the movement, yeah. it's got the hair. Yeah. <laughs> and the hair. The hair is great. And the music. That's hilarious. <laughs> Um, pretty good. Pretty so I thought awesome. that would be a little fun thing to show. All right. Uh, they did a good job there. <laughs> um, so good stuff, Vince. Uh, so the website here for that. What a perfect time to drop in. <laughs> Everybody yeah. who dropped in got Rick World. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, let's see. Somehow this got in my head, so I spent a few oh, days on I it. Oh, I like it. <laughs> Music was made by hand using TIA trackers, or for the off notes, so there's limitations yeah. of the platform. Not skilled enough at music, try to transpose around things. Uh, getting everything <laughs> to fit in 4K was a challenge. Yeah. Pretty, pretty good. The title screen and the music and a full screen animation. Mm. I had planned a fake gameplay screen uh, too, but didn't have enough room. Fair enough. When recording on real hardware, it's super glitched. Blah, blah, blah. Tech, tech, tech stuff. Um, so there you go. That's so cute. Uh, yeah, that is really, really cute. Um, so uh, all the rest is real news. Um, <laughs> Not Rick World news. No. So just so, everything, everything else for the rest of the episode. You click a button, and real. then it's just that. It's all Rick Roll. Yeah, it's every, all every Rick time. Rolling. Everybody for like um, <laughs> a, a, next April first. Yeah. A whole bunch of people post a bunch of games that look really awesome yeah. but every download is that I feel like uh, <laughs> the Atari remade. Age booth needs a game that people walk up to and hit oh, the button that would be good. and it just plays well, that put that in it oh yeah. god that would be so good it be ported to other systems yeah. <laughs> yes. maybe maybe somebody's going to work on a 7800 version of that hmm. <laughs> um, so uh, Atarius Maximus posted this on Saturday coming soon an A7800 front end this is one of those things I always wished existed, so I wrote one myself, a proper front end for A7800, which is an emulator for the Atari 7800. Mm -hmm. um, because there are several um, Atari 7800 emulators. Um, some have front ends, some don't have front ends, but uh, he felt an um, inclined enough to make one himself. I'm almost ready to share publicly. It works perfectly fine as is. However, it needs some other some further debug testing. I'm guessing A7800 before was a uh, command line, um, and this creates a front end so it loads up the command line and exits back out to the yeah. uh, menu again. Uh, it's 100% tied to Trevor 7800 ROM pack. It finds the artwork and manuals based on the file names in that archive. He seems to have the definitive collection, so it seems like a logical play way to approach this. Great uh, idea to use Trebor's hmm. um, archive. Um, to be able to load, especially all the classic ones as well. Um, of course, it'll launch any ROM without the accompanying art as well. More details to come. Hopefully there's someone out there else who has been wanting this. I'd love to see people stop using Pro System, Steve. Uh, so I will paste that into the uh, chat or not. What the hell? Copy. And no. I'll have to manually do it. Weird. Hmm. There you go. Uh, 3D Dragon profile pick is great. Yeah, oh, it yeah, is. Yeah, it's yeah. turned to the side. Yeah, somebody <clears throat> knows how to uh, do some 3D artwork. Uh, there's a new unnamed game from VHZC. Of course. That he posted. Who was just saying at the I last know. show, oh, it's been a couple weeks. VHZC must have done at least four games in and, that time. And he did one in the meantime. <laughs> I've just been catching up on the news. And this yeah. one was posted August That's uh, 30th. so funny. It's like he heard. Mm-hmm. What was that? VH said, see, oh, yes, I do have yes, a game. Yes, I do. It says, coming out of COVID, the bug had me with oh, no. game deprivation syndrome. Oh, no. So I scheduled a concept test for a very simple game for the 7800. Now to think of what to add to give it more of a challenge. So um, uh, my com comment on this post was, looks like a fun game of quick reflexes. A nice twist on the Cosmic Arc asteroid screen. Mm. You know, on Cosmic Arc, where all the asteroids are coming, yeah. uh, bottom down left right and uh this one has a bit more movement to it so it's it looks like the same but it looks like you have to press the button at the right time 
Why is that ding during the show? So silly. <laughs> um, so you have to move and then shoot. In a Cosmic Cart, you just move to shoot. Gotcha. So this has one more added and multiple from multiple angles, too. Ooh. So you can have two at the same time. Does uh, look like a f lot of fun. He has not posted a binary of this yet. Uh, looks like he might be still working on it, adding some more stuff into it. Um, a, another emulator for your 2600 has emerged. Let me make this a lot An bigger. emulator. Interesting. Um, it's from Dave Bernazzani. Mm -hmm. I've just finished up a version 4.8 of Stella DS. So for your handheld so Nintendo a, DS DSi. It's a software for the DS. Yes, so you can see Ooh. it has all the switches that you can click on the screen. <gasps> How cute. Uh, very, very cute. And the game at the top. Nice. Uh, DS DSi emulator for the venerable Atari 2600. Most of the recent versions have been adding some of the more exotic bank switching schemes up to 512K, also adding save key support. Mm. And the DSi, this only requires an SD card loaded with something like Twilight Menu++ Plus Plus or similar homebrew launcher. Oh, I hate how they use that word for hacking a system. Yeah. It's because to load on games that you make yourself yeah. or otherwise, yeah. um, <laughs> they call it a uh, homebrewing or whatever because it's loosely associated with homebrew. Yeah. But it also is very associated with pirating games. Mm. That word on those newer systems. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so it's kind of been corrupted in that way, but yeah. most people don't use Homebrew that way, I no. think. I don't think so. Not in so. our realm, anyway. It's just got it attributed to those that software, yeah. unfortunately. Yeah. On older DS, it requires a flash card of some kind. Be warned, the older blah, blah, blah. So a lot of um, um, information related to what it can and can't run. It does not have support for DPC Plus and CDFJ and CDFJ Plus. Mm. Um, so very uh, basic bank switching, no ARM support. Um, and I looked into it and this initially, the software initially was released in, uh, where's my notes? 2011 version one came out and it was based on Stella 1.4.2, which is really old. Okay. Which is why it doesn't have DPC plus or CDFJ or CDFJ plus. And it looks like he built from that version and added mm. onto that port of that version rather than reporting it every time a new Stella came out. Fair enough. But it may not even have enough power to run things that support DPC plus anyway, because you need a fairly powerful computer. You do? do you um, that? Yeah. I mean, all modern ones will do it, but that's yeah. not a modern computer. No, very true. Very true. So it might be okay that it doesn't run that stuff as long as it has but a bunch of bank switching to support yeah. uh, all the other ones. I um, agree with RC70. I think it's a great idea. And I love that little great. lower screen because yeah. you, you can you can Di emulate those switches. Directly emulate so it, the switches. So it feels more like an authentic experience with the with playing those little games. Yeah. So, so based on what that person's posted, it sounds nice. like it would support all the classic games. Okay. It does say, doesn't say it doesn't support DPC, okay. which is uh, Pitfall 2. Okay. Which is okay. the only one to have so really an extra the classic, chip on it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the full range of classic games that should support, as long as it has uh, <laughs> probably me. most of the bank switching. Yeah. And then in turn, it would support a lot of homebrew as well, Ho newer homebrew games, just as long as you don't use DPC plus or CDFJ, CDFJ plus, um, which, you know, there's a good handful of those and a good handful that aren't using that. Mm. Um, so you can check that out. It is called Stella hmm. DS, if you are able to run it on your system. Stella DS. And this was posted just today by Albert. <coughs> uh, Gods and Chaos Engine packaging was revealed today. Ooh. So Jaguar? take a look at that. <gasps> the two Jaguar games. Look at those boxes. That we the boxes the, are so nice. That we had the exclusive world premiere of yes. that we played uh, a little while that. ago. That is a gorgeous box. Mm -hmm. um, so these boxes are done by William Thorup. Uh, they will be available at Bad Cats. Where is he? I don't know. He's in the back. These will be available at Portland Retro Gaming Expo first and then in the store in November. Here's the second box. For Sorry. the Chaos Engine, beautiful of covers. Chaos Engines. Look Get out that. of there! Where the are you? edges on that, it looks like it's like a metal edged box. Really nice. And and the colors on both of them, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. 
Um, some keen eye person noticed that this says gods in the uh, copyright on the bottom there on the back of the box. Nice. And Al said they're not done yet. But, oh. <laughs> Um, so that is awesome. Both these va games will be available first at the upcoming Portland Retro Gaming nice. Expo. So we'll see you there. Yes. We'll be there. Yep. Uh, in the middle of October, they will be available in the Atari Age Store in early November. Mm -hmm. And speaking of Portland Retro Gaming Expo, <gasps> we have added in, I've added in our meetup at okay. Ground Control. Ground Control. There on you October go. 15th on the Saturday at Portland Retro Gaming Expo. Uh, I don't have a start date for when the meetup will start. We'll I mean, we're just out hanging out playing video games yeah. in the arcade. Yeah. It closes at midnight, so I have that. And it'll probably start maybe an hour or an hour and a half after Portland, uh, PRG closes. Doesn't it close pretty late, though? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So what, when the sales floor closes. Okay. Um, the, you can play the arcade after. That. After, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's busy as hell yeah, on Saturday. Yeah, it, it is. So we're probably going to go to a place where it's less busy to play the Maybe. games. We'll Maybe. see. It might be as busy because all the uh, all the, the gamers are gamers there. Gamers are there. So. Yeah, it's a great um, yeah. uh, um, barcade. Barcade, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. really, really it fun. It is really fun. Uh, really big. Two rooms. Uh, oh, more than two. Actually, three. There's an upstairs, There's like a downstairs, a, and a back room. A front, a middle, and a back, and an upstairs. So, yeah, yeah it's quite large. It's quite nice. Yeah. Quite nice. So, yeah, ground control is very, very cool. So, we'll talk more about the meetup mm -hmm. as it gets closer. Uh, S. Ramirez typed in the chat before the show. It's 30 days away. One is it month really? to Portland Retro oh Gaming Expo. Gosh. Can you believe it? Oh my gosh. I guess it is mid September. Yeah, it's mid September. Time flies. Yeah, so. <laughs> so you leave the place at which you play games to go to another place yes. at which you play games. That, of course. That's, that's how we do it here. <laughs> that's exactly. <laughs> they yes. do have Baby Pac Man. They do. It yep. was inoperable last time we were there, right? Well, I think. It was out of order um, last time we were at Ground Control. So hopefully yeah. they have it up and running by now. It's been three years. Does Ga Ground Control <laughs> provide the arcades for the Retro Gaming Expo? Some of them. So there might be less at the actual barcade. Yeah. Well, there'll be different ones. Yeah. As long as I have Dig Dug, um, I'm fine. <laughs> I'll play Dig Dug. Galaga. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Galaga, Dig, T Dig Dug, a bunch of other classic games. I'll mm. be fine with it. Mm. Um, so, uh, we've held off on talking about Burning Man because there's a lot to talk about. And oh we were goodness. very busy doing the uh, 45th anniversary oh, yeah. of the 2600, five minutes at a time. So, we didn't have a lot to uh, time to talk about okay. that. So, throughout today, we'll sprinkle in <laughs> stories <laughs> from Burning Man. Yeah. Um, uh, so, we have, I'll show you a picture that I took at Burning Man of the. Um, see if that works celebration at the end oh, so yeah. there's there's the man there uh, and he raises his arms at the end of can you calm down cats <laughs> and they have a huge fireworks show at the end it oh, is it like amazing unbelievable yeah. fireworks show and oh, can I and focus, fire spinners please? and the whole thing we've got crazy and there cats. it is on fire these, oh. these are my photos that I took um, yeah, yeah, it was hot. It was very hot, and <laughs> that added to the heat yeah. <laughs> quite a bit. Uh, this is my fourth time I went, yeah. and this is Tanya's second yeah. time. Mm -hmm. um, it was both the most amazing and the most difficult time ever. Yeah. It was brutal. Brutally hot and brutally dusty. Yes. There was one day we spent six hours in our RV because you can go outside because the dust storm was so bad. Yeah, super dusty, doing? super storm what you, winds. What are you? Those are fire tornadoes. Yes. Uh, RC70. Fire tornadoes. They are so cool. It gets so, so hot. Yeah. It's guaranteed fire tornadoes yeah. every time. And just so you know, people can't get that close to this oh. when it's burning. Oh, God. Like, Those are firefighters. We're, we were actually in the front row. <laughs> yeah. And we, we were really far back. Like, but, literally yeah. the front row. Yeah. There's a barrier, and our feet were on the barrier. Mm. Um, but it was a lot of fun and also massive. Massively uh, a pain in the ass. Yeah. Um, Agreed. Ow! Ow! We can show a couple more photos. Tickets at the box office. Ah! Showing this. Yeah, there we go. Ah, kidding. That's uh, us picking up the tickets at the box office because yeah. we got tickets fairly late in the process. There's our two tickets and okay. Tanya in the dust. Welcome to Tanya and James' vacation. <laughs> So for we'll pull out the slide projector. <laughs> next slide is us at a bar. 
let's see. There we go. Makeshift Craning. bar in the middle of the desert. Yeah, uh, makeshift bar. A bunch of people in the background going, why are you taking photos? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Uh, and here's the outside of the bar. Yeah, that is all sand. Planet dust. Earth, and yeah. I'm sure everybody here would be very comfortable yes. going to Planet Earth. Yeah. It is the old folks dance. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they played old folks music. Eight, old 80s, folks music. music. 80, 80s music. 80s <laughs> music. It was actually really fun. It was really fun. Yeah, and that's that's the place we go to yeah. all the time there. Yeah. Um, oh, oh, yeah, we could show this one too. And this is There's one of lots the, of art cars. It's one of the art cars that's there. Yeah. It was a huge uh, Pac-Man ghost, yeah. and it changed colors. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, you couldn't play Pac-Man on it, but... Uh, that would have been cool. That would have been cool. It has a little display at the back, and yeah. it changed colors. You could see it from far, far away. Yeah. Cats are fighting. Yeah. Crazy and cats. just to give you an idea, here's another uh, art car. These are all taken with my cell phone. That's why the quality is, is fairly low, except for the... Um, the Burning Man that was taken with a proper camera. Psst. Yeah. Stop it. Some Bad of these, cat. yeah. Some of these are cell phone. Yeah. Because I haven't processed all of them yet. Yeah. It's amazing the ingenuity of people, and especially with the cars and the structures and the art. Oh my god. Which yeah. is why we go. A lot of people go for a whole host of reasons, but we go just for the love art. the it's art, crazy. and especially at night. What are you doing? <laughs> keep shooing this cat. Yeah. Um, That's and just art car. how amazing the skill these people's skills are in building these beautiful machines oh and, yeah um yeah that's that's kind of that's why i go that's why yeah. i think it's pretty awesome okay so let's get on to the, the games. games howdy argy's castle here you go thank you so we're going to be playing hero 2 uh by game select uh programmed by made by wilson guterres and mm -hmm. ricardo pym uh, this was first posted about uh, August 8th on their Facebook page. It's an 8K game. Mm -hmm. Made by Game Select, who also made Asteroids Attack, Battle Zuma, uh, Space Pac-Man, and Spiders and Flies, which mm -hmm. we've all played uh, played all of them on the show. Uh, maybe not Battle Zuma. So it was first teased on August 8th with a short video that didn't give away much more than a beloved game. Nice. And the rescue continues. Uh -huh. uh, and it debuted for sale at uh, Expo Channel 3, it's called, on August 21st uh, this year at in uh, Sao Paulo, uh, Brazil. Nice. Um, and it is now available from Game Select as of September 4th. For 199 uh, Brazilian real dollars, I think they're called real, probably pronounced differently, uh, which equates to $38 US. Okay. Uh, you can email ataregameselect at gmail.com to order it if you like it. Um, so let's load it up. Let's switch over. Nope, come on. Switch over. Hey, Black Cat, stopping trouble. He is very, very oh, he's so expectant. Um, and we also had the world premiere of ARTI mm -hmm. for Muddy Vision, mm -hmm. which is also a tribute to Hero as mm -hmm. well. So this is kind of a remix of the original Hero. So it's got new mazes, okay. new dangers, nice. and new people to rescue. Mm -hmm. Not enough bites for treats. Aww. That's what he's crying about. Yeah. Mm. Treats, please. <laughs> Uh, oh, you don't have enough bites, no. RC70. Yeah. Well, the cats will just have to starve then. Yeah. Oh. You just have to hear crying for two hours. Oh, Carl D says, same, sadly. Oh, no. Just hang out for the show. You'll I eventually may, build them back I up. I may have to put Treats. down. Oh, oh look at that. Metal cats. Lunar, thank you. Metal Lunar to the rescue. Uh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. So I can read about Hero as Tanya feeds the cats. Okay. Sorry, were you hungry? Or were you crying for hunger? Were, were you wanting meow, meow, some meow. treats? Hmm? Uh, <laughs> so, technical info about this game. We had access to the original source code of Activision's Hero in assembly, and we studied it to change up almost everything except for the gameplay. Otherwise, it wouldn't be Hero. This is Ricardo Pym uh, posting in the uh, Tar Age forums. 
we generated another binary game and changed the name, a very common practice that we have uh, seen in hacks and arcade ports. So the engine is the same, meaning you'll feel like you're playing the 1984 original. We've changed the entire map, it's a whole new mine, forget what you memorized from Hero. We changed the enemies where one of them has a prank due to its characteristic. Sometimes the shot goes through and doesn't kill. Now there are hidden passages. Some walls open in the ground. Some stages due to different path options. You can get lost among other things. Ding, ding. That's very, very insistent. Ding, ding. Um, so uh, Hero was originally put out in uh, March 30th, 1984. Um, written by John Van Ryzen, published by Activision, uh, main for <laughs> ding ding <laughs> ding ding. <laughs> ported uh, to the Atari 2600 originally, ported to Apple II, Atari 5200, Atari 8-bit, ColecoVision, Commodore 64, MSX, and ZX Spectrum. Uh, the player uses a helicopter backpack and other tools to rescue victims trapped deep in a mine. The mine is made up of multiple screens using a flip screen style. Uh, Danny VC, you blew my mind by saying meta. I've been reading that as metal lunar for years now. What? So have I. I thought it was metal lunar, but apparently it's meta lunar. Meta lunar works too. What? <laughs> I gotta read that. Mind blown. What? Well, it would be two L's if it was metal lunar. I never noticed it was one L. <laughs> it's meta lunar. I just blur it together. Metal Lunar. <laughs> Pierre Pocock says, I think my cats have almost figured out tree time themselves. <laughs> <laughs> They're expecting tree time. Yeah. yeah? Oh, uh, yes. You may make sure you are watching in 1080p60 or 720p60 because we use... Uh, the, otherwise, you will miss the, the special interlacing that the 2600 uses Good for um, special things. All right. Good kitties! Yay, good Yay. kitties! Okay, time to load it up. Sounds the it. same to me, haha, but yeah, there was one L, I guess. <laughs> Hero 2! <clears throat> there we go! So, kind of looks the same. Nice. Hero 2 by Game Select. Oh, where's the sound? One second. What is happening? Well, this is this is not the game play yet. Oh, no wonder. Hasn't started yet. <laughs> you get a little preview. So it does game select on the yep. bottom. Um, the guy looks a little different. He's got floppy blonde hair. There we go. There we go. Oh my God, angry cats. How do you do this? Down. Thing? Ah! And you killed yourself. Sorry, it's been a while. <laughs> it's been a while. Oh my gosh. Okay, I need what? By the way, this one is harder than the original, so good luck. You fall. You have to press up for like two seconds to start going, so I would practice that. Yeah, that is the uh... biggest complaint of mine about the original. But they use the same engine, so you'll have to take into account that you cannot. You have to. What? You press down. I did not. Oh, uh, the game says you press down. Uh, the player is equipped with a backpack-mounted helicopter unit, which allows him to hover and fly, along with helmet-mounted laser and a limited supply of dynamite. Each level consists of a maze of mine shafts that Roderick must safely navigate in order to reach the mine. This is from the original game. You can you can just shoot your laser as much as you want. Pretty much. Yay! Rescued little guy. Level three. Yep, this is the 2600. Uh, they did change the graphics on uh, the guy, and it looks really good. Like the backpack and helicopter and his hair looks really good. Ah! Into the buzzing. I, I haven't quite figured out how not to immediately fall. You have to press up. Yeah, I guess yeah. so. I think it's a little faster when, ah! you're, when you're flying. It's immediate when you're flying, but uh, taking... No, it's not. You immediately stop, oh. but you don't go up immediately. So I it takes a yeah, little... I haven't quite worked that out yet. Oh, the laser and death sounds have changed as well. Oh, okay. That's cool. I don't have a thought up here. Ugh. Yeah, they've I changed quite that. Figured that out. Where you have to uh, be careful going into new screens. Well, you go down, you just fall. Uh, you have to press up. Yeah, but. It stops immediately. But then you can't hover. No, you hover. No, you don't. You can't move while you're hovering. You can move left and right. Um, moving, but you can't move up and down. Uh, moving up takes about two seconds before you move up, but you stop yourself as soon as you press up. 
Oh, you're dead. Okay, try that again. Yeah, you'll have to practice on the first screen. So I think RT. Yeah, dynamite blows you up. Can we restart it? <laughs> yeah. You only lost one guy. I don't want to lose one guy. Yeah, do not try and hover out of the way of dynamite, um, because you'll die. It's not fast enough. You can't... You have to get out of the way of dynamite. Is this, is this the original is like this? Because I yeah. remember playing Artie and that it's oh, a different... Oh, Artie's corrected that issue. Gotcha, okay. Yeah, That's so why I'm, I'm like, what is going ignore, on? <laughs> ignore the, the Artie. Artie, okay, fair enough. Or Artie's fixed that, that issue, because they're using the same engine. Gotcha. So this is a very advanced hack of Hero, where they've changed a lot of stuff. All the graphics, sound, mazes, um, but not the engine, so it behaves exactly like The Hero. same way as, as Hero. Yeah. I never played Hero, so... The last feature they're going to add just before it got cancelled was couch compliance. Yeah, no couch compliance on this. Rescued a hobbit. Pick the right, pick the right way down. It, it, it's, they did that on it's, purpose. It's the delay because you you push up, but you don't actually hover in for a few seconds as you fall. So you fall into things. You uh, can't stop yourself. No, it stops immediately. No, it doesn't. Let's see. Oh, you won't give it to me. No, no, I will. I'm, I'm, <laughs> yeah. You have to be very careful going through these. these okay, mazes. going down. Oh, it's a very, yeah, it's, you have to, there's like a half second. Before he stops. Um, so we've got a PDF printout here of some information about this game. Hero 2, back Yay. to work. Uh, this is Roderick Peril Hero, former president and chief executive of the, of the Emergency Operation and Rescue Company, responsible for several years dozens of complex rescue operations. Today I returned from my retirement for an important mission. On a visit to Brazil, <laughs> uh, watching the local news, I discover a group of children got lost while playing in a network of caves connected to the ruins of the old Paraopeba mine in the city of Nova Lima, uh, Minas Gerais. Hope I pronounced that correctly. The mine features unusual volcanic activity for the region, and the children are in huge danger. Oof. Oof. The ledge saved you. Those look like uh, millipedes coming out of the wall. Uh, our work has been in high demand in past for missions to places where no one else could reach, and today, once again, I need your help. In contact with the local authorities, I offered our experience to assist in this rescue work. You will have access to all the equipment already known to the company, developed by me, so that together we can reach the deepest places, open paths, defeat the most diverse creatures, and finally rescue... What level did you make it to? Four? Four. There you go, yep. And, and finally rescue all the children before the worst happens. Team Notes. The rescue continues. The mechanics you know in the game you love, now with new challenges. Made with the love of Collector for Collector. Uh, Hero 2 is based on his older brother, Hero, 1984. One of the most loved games by the Atari community. Hero. Uh, in this fully modified version, you will find new challenges such as hidden walls, secret passages, dead end and alternate looping paths Ugh. as well as new enemies colors and sound effects we at game select hope you have a great time programming and adaptation uh wilson Gutierrez and ricardo pym text manual texts and manual ricardo pym testing ulysses a patriota support ricardo binsk illustration art and game sprites solo santiago hardware and graphic production wilson Gutierrez. Uh, gameselect.com.br uh, for more info and also Atari Game Select at all your local social media. After dropping dynamite, go Every down. Every time. Every time. Go down diagonally, down left or right to get away. Diagonally on somewhere right. on one of the parts that you were at. Oh, don't go there. Oh, you won't be able to turn around. You're gonna die. Yeah. 
So I'm guessing some of the, these mazes go up and around sometimes after you go down. Oh, the timing. At least they disappear. I've yet to get through that without getting hit. <laughs> really? Okay. Same oh. with the... Hang in there, Tanya. This game requires tons of practice to get yeah, it right. Yeah, I think... Oh. Always go down the left side, because the lights are always on the right. Remember that? Yeah, it looks like they haven't changed yeah. that in this game, which is good. They've increased the challenge a bit, quite a bit. There's death immediately after going through some of them, like there. There's light. No! And peace. Ah, oh, I didn't and push dynamite. down. <sighs> the game just goes. Shoot him! He can. What? He does He goes down low enough. Anyway, you, you can't get to the kid that way. Yay! Yay! Got the kid. You can run, actually run diagonally up, and he will forever, and he will, and he will float over chasms. Oh, I didn't need to go down that side. That's okay. Oh, he's down the left. No, oh, no. You don't have to kill this person. Yeah, I don't like them. I wonder if they stuck to the rule of always go down the hardest path. Which would be behind the wall. Oh, Can you yeah. explode that? Yes, you can. Yeah, You can also shoot them, but it takes a long time to shoot them, I find. <sighs> shoot on just straight now. That's true. Sometimes that's good. Down the left. Are you killed? Yay! Nice, yay! Water and level water. six. You're much better. Uh, I'm slowly getting used to the controls. I, oh, <laughs> see down the left. Lies. So mean. Yeah, you have to. You do have to hug the edge, though. Mm. That one you couldn't avoid. I think there was a path down. Touch the red glowing walls. They're lava. Lava walls. Still gonna be dark. Ah! Oh, no, last man. No, oh, God. I'm gonna go on that side. <gasps> oh, oh, no. no. Level six. Did better. That was Reset, good. please. Oh. You can fire some dynamite to illuminate and see when dark. Yes. yes. That is That's true. true. I if forgot you, about that. If you have extra dynamite. Yeah. You usually do. You usually end it with lots of dynamite. Well, probably not the later levels. Yeah, so. you think you need some. Early levels are fun. And this is this is all new, so who knows how much dynamite you need. Good point. All the rules are out the window. Yeah, it's true. Yay! Those bees are tenacious, like in Crystal Castles. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> yes. Those Crystal Castle bees. Woo. Bad stuff. Oh, oh my god. That was one pixel away from death. Oh, oh my god. This is a lot Actually, harder. Run di diagonally up and he will float over chasms. Uh -huh. Yeah, don't touch the red walls. <laughs> chasms. I'll have to try that. Yeah. Cool. End of me. I know. Ah, and they float high too. Well, all of them float to the point where you can't necessarily hit them right away. I don't know if the other hero was like that. Uh, and they go up yeah, and down, yeah. so they're not uh, completely in line with your laser. But I think that they've repositioned them oh my God. so that you die going down a shaft immediately. Yeah. And I don't think on the other game it would, That's it would, what would do happen. that. But maybe it, maybe it does. I don't know what they've changed the bees from. Mm. But it's down here. It's down all. Not the middle. It's like bad. Time. Oh! F off. I have to be right near. No, that that's there. Kind of close. There's always. Oh! Oh no! Well, that's you didn't okay. die. Yay! Whoa. Yeah, the game mechanics are exactly, exactly the same. 
Awesome. Just more levels. Yep. Oh my oh, god. Oh, ha ha, left hand side. Is it? Which way? Is it over here? It's down. You have to go to the right. Oh, okay. It's not even down. No. But it's down here, right? It's always, yeah. It's always the hardest path. Well, you could have. Oh my god, left. it's not. Yeah. No, the hardest path is. No, you could have destroyed the that wall. Oh, what? You could have broken that wall. Could I? Oh, I guess. No, I was down the far right. It was a dead end. No, no, but you. Oh, that's the hardest path on the right. You ha always have to dynamite a wall. Oh, it killed the thing. Yeah. No, but I was on the far right. It was a. Oh, yeah, no, dead no. End. Yeah, no. For sure. Oh, oh, my God. Is there a wall there? All right. What level is this? Is this, this is, oh, my God. <gasps> That's pretty brutal. Oh there you God. go. How long is this level? It's very oh, long. no. Oh, my God. The starting position is not correct on that spot. I mean, you don't get trapped, but not quite right. Oh, no, still good. I'll be down here. Oh, I'm gonna die. No! <gasps> That's not even the right... Oh! oh! Damn it. It's down here. Oh, my God. It's as bad as I am. it. Oh, no! Oh, no! no! Still got two lives. It's down here. No, it's not. What are you looking for? The end? Just a path. Oh, that, that's a path. Oh, James. Uh, Kill the things. Oh, oh, yeah, I guess I could have gone down there. Yeah, you could have. And wh what? Uh, what? Break that wall. Break oh, that wall. Uh, oh, maybe uh, not. What? Where do I go? Where do I go? Go up. No. Over. No. Oh, my God. It's not this far back, is it? What the hell? Did you finish this level? No. Oh. Go down the other side. Uh, I guess so. It said, the it said there's spider. hidden paths. One at a time. Oh. And lives. Yeah. I keep laughing as you guys keep flying into a face full of bees. <gasps> oh there my you go. god. There's walls like that now? <sighs> That's never no, going to be die. the path. You always have to explode something. Yeah. Yeah. Always. Always. Oh, I ran out of bloody time. Oh my god. <laughs> Level seven. Okay, now I know how to get through that spot, though. A face full of it is a face full of bees, huh? constantly. Hero two, bring her frustration. Does this game have a badge? It should. Um, I haven't seen them mention one. I didn't mean to do that. That was, enti <laughs> that was entirely unintentional. What are you doing? I guess I couldn't get past him. I thought I could. No, no, no. no. Not for... Can you select a starting level? Ooh, let's nice. try. Yeah. It doesn't say anything in the in information. He didn't, Ricardo didn't pass me anything about having a starting level. That would be nice. Just so you can see different levels. The frustration is what makes it fun. <laughs> yeah. That should be in the uh, promotional materials. <laughs> right on the front. Quote from Chalcedony Mao. The frustration is what makes it fun. Um, in the original game, it was 75,000 for a badge. Oh, I do it every time. Bees. Face full of bees. bees. Ah! Rod Castler says, okay, that's new. I don't remember thick walls being partially blown. No, that is new. I think that's what they mean by secret passages. Right hand side. No, but I can't stay floating. That's the problem I seem to have. Yeah. Because I keep it's... hitting up, but I think you're right. If I go left, right, I don't immediately fall. It's a tricky mechanic. Uh, I, I just haven't gotten used to that yet. Hero 2, face full of bees. Perfect. There you go. That's all I do. It's, the bees. it's just all about the bees. You 
can run off the cliff and you'll be fine. Here. Seventy-five thousand. That's a lot in this game. In the original game, it was seventy-five thousand, I believe. Um, in this one, whew, seventy-five thousand. That's a lot to ask. <laughs> Not impossible if you're really good at this game. Some people just dominate it and just fly through these levels like it's nothing. The part where I get stuck in oh, I the, the original game is going under things when there's lava or water or whatever it is. Um, because of the floating mechanic, I find that really difficult to go down, then stop yourself and find a spot to um, to go back up. Or landing on those little pads to take you across. Oh my god, so difficult. Hi, Atari. Yeah? How are you? So, uh, Burning Man was excellent and also super, super challenging. Yeah. Um, so we left a day early. Anybody can come or go anytime they want. Um, but the whole thing ends with two big burns. One burn on the Saturday night, which is the man, which we showed you pictures of early. And then the Sunday night, they burn what's called the temple. And we left after the morning of the temple, right? Yeah. After the man, the day, um, the, the morning after the man burned. Um, well, we'll turn out the light, but you can still go. Oh. Whoa, that was close. You uh, didn't die. I don't you know how I did die. I know I kind of did that. Ah! Um, because we left early because of the massive, massive dust storms. Oh, it was insane. Ah. It's a wall there. You have mm. to do it. You have to blast that wall. Oh, the wall. Okay. Oh, what are you doing? I tried to Standing go up, there. but it pauses, so it killed me. Thank you for subscribing, Nathan Strom! To what, 33 months? The Burning Man seems very literal for a meeting of creatives. Yeah, it's pretty literal. No, I don't... You're out. You have to blast it. Blast that wall. Blasted wall. Oh, oh my god, you have to do two of them. And you're almost out of power. Oh, you gotta finish up this level real quick. I don't think you're right up against it. There you go. Dead. Oh, you gotta go fast. No. Um, we were afraid that there would be more dust storms and we wouldn't be able to leave. Like, literally leave. Yeah. Because they it did close it down. Those fears were justified. In a way. There weren't any more dust storms, but the what they call the exodus, which is everybody leaving all at once, uh, got up to 14 hours the next day of people sitting in line, leaving Burning Man. Oh, God. Gotta move. Level six. Boo. So yep. I'm very happy that we left at that time because oh, people were sitting in line for 8 to 14 hours. It was insane, and we got out in a few, I think. Uh, yeah, like two, maybe. It was quite decent. It was quite decent, yeah. Because essentially you have 70,000, 80,000 people trying to escape a city um, on a multi-lane road that essentially collapses down to one lane. And is only legally allowed to have 1,000 people per hour leave. Yeah. So it's <laughs> quite uh, an undertaking to By like, Nevada law. get out. Yeah. Or whatever law. It's quite law. interesting. Yeah, it's, um, it's a thing. <laughs> the, the amount of organization to get it to work is kind of interesting. Like, oh, It's yes. pretty crazy. Yeah, lots of people posted the image of people in the line trying to get out. Oh, that? Yes. Yeah, it's it's oh. quite... An impressive mm. photo. Someone brought it, had a drone with them, obviously, and took a, a huge drone shot. Yeah. We were not caught in that. We actually timed ourselves perfectly that we didn't end up in that massive lineup. So. And even um, so, people were cutting in line. Oh yeah. And being pulled over by the police. Yeah. Because you can only go X amount of. No. Uh, ten, 10 kilometers an hour. I think on that road. You can only go ten kilometers an hour. It worked. Going around the lineups yeah. and into then places where they're not supposed to. They have all the Nevada 
police, various jurisdictions of police, <laughs> just sitting, waiting for people to do it so they can arrest them. Yeah. Or give them a ticket, ticket or whatever. Yeah. So, yeah. Unless they're being super dangerous, I guess. Yeah. So, like, yeah, like Tanya said, we were in our RV. Luckily, we had an RV. Yeah. For people with just tents. I don't know how they went. Well, they were in cars. I mean, they would have been in the air conditioning of their oh, car, yeah, but it would have been a right. nightmare. A lot of people sat in their cars. Yeah. Um, to weather it out. So, yeah, we end up, timing-wise, we did some good things there. <laughs> yes. It's oh. okay. I'm not dead. Oh, uh, I pressed up. It's holding. I'm still holding up. It takes a half a second or a quarter of a second to stop. Yeah, those 14 hours must have not been the best time, but... You go to this event knowing there's trouble. Knowing this is a definite possibility that you're going to be in a massive lineup on the way out. So you really do oh, have to just be known. prepared. Yeah. Yeah. Nope. 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 Completely. You can go down the right. Here. And then probably this, right? Yeah. Um. Dust is also a known. Oh, yeah, the dust. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, the dust. But uh, it was uh, pretty, pretty good. Pretty interesting. Bigger than when we were when we were last there in 2013. 2013, yeah. Tons of people. Oh, great art. Art, great art is cars. amazing. The light. So, I don't remember the lights on the cars or on the buildings or on the art being nearly as impressive because I don't think LED LEDs were as cheap oh, or no. as accessible and so it really was like this amazing like night scene uh oh I have to go back up ah smart you remembered um bees the bees not the bees uh, then I, I think I figured this out. Explodies? No. And you go down here, and then you do that. Oh, and then you can go across. Do the art installations change from day to day? No, most of them are sort of permanent over the time that the event is happening. We almost touched it. Is that Brown dirty? goo. Brown oh, goo. it's dirty. It's dirty goo. Bees, you die. Oh my god, lovely. <laughs> So, yeah, the art installations don't change. Some go up at various points during the week. but and some um, burn at various points. Yeah. The coolest thing are the art cars and the mutant oh vehicles God. and, like, the work that people put into those is just something else. Um, there are DJs that play there and bands that play there, but they're not, like, it's not part of it. Ooh. Ooh. Sorry. Saucy. <laughs> makes me so mad, this game. <laughs> um, yeah, you just go and suddenly there's like a famous oh, musician or yep, DJ. Yep, we saw... Um, Infected Mushroom. Infected Mushroom. I don't know if anybody... What? You hit it. I did not. <laughs> How dare you. How dare you imply I hit that. Oh! Oh, no. Ooh. And we do have a lot of photos of the art installations, but yeah. they we have not gone through oh, all I our photos through yet. Here. <coughs> not through there. Nope, not down. Bees. Oh, that's nope. the hardest part. No, nope, it's you don't go down here. No. <gasps> oh, there. This this is what's gonna kill me. All three men, right here. Oh, there we go. Okay. Bees. Bees. Oh, I got it. Okay. And then you have to put the... This is what's... Oh, oh. my God. Oh, where's the dude? Come on. What? Oh, ran out of time. <gasps> oh, no! I have to start over? As you said earlier, the game says you did. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Oh, no. Okay, I gotta motor through this one. The levels are so long. Anyway, uh, Burning Man was a exercise in endurance uh, yes. with the heat. 38, 39 degrees Celsius every day. 105. 105? Yeah. Put it in freedom uh, units. Really hot. Very hot. Very hot. Not humid, but... Um, do I have to go down? 
they going oh, down there? Oh, you hit it? Oh no. You hit it. Ah. Okay. okay. Is this the one you have to go across? Yeah. Respawn there, though. Go. 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 Oh. <laughs> what? Just explode it. Get out of there. You're almost, almost there. I can feel it. Get it. Oh. oh I'm not gonna make this. I have one life left. Oh, I bet it's to the right. Look at this. Two places to go. Oh, this is going to be the death of me. We're going to need to give James Cat an impact for this. <gasps> yes. Hey, Ricardo Pim. Oh, my God. Hey, Ricardo Pim. Oh, my God. The maze in this one is crazy. There's so many paths. <laughs> I don't know which way to go. I'm... Oh, death by wall. Level nine. I think we're going to retire there. I think so. I don't think I'm going to pass. I gave it a good, a good go. Oh, my God. That one is just huge and branching, and I'd probably have to make a map to make my way there. Look, yeah. every direction is possible yeah. on almost every <laughs> single screen. So, 38,285. Yay! One of the authors just made it here. Yay, Ricardo! Yay! Uh, great stuff! Yeah. Um, much harder than the original. Oh, yeah. Which is great for fans of the original yeah. that have, like, mastered it. Oh, of course. Because um, there's a lot more... Uh, paths. There's different dangers. There's hidden paths. Mm -hmm. um, it's different enemies, um, but the same gameplay. So if you're good at Hero, you're gonna be really good at this as yes, well. I think so. Yeah. Um, but it's a, a new remix of it and yeah. uh, new maps, and especially the non-linear way of getting around here. Now yeah. there's not just very straight down, left, straight down, right. But there's now right. there's different options, it's yeah. Like, oh my god. And and uh hidden paths that you have to blow away walls and you're like, yeah. "Oh my god, how do I get through this?" Oh, well, it's a secret. It's a secret. Got to figure it out. Yeah. So, good stuff very if good. you uh would like that game, definitely check out um their Facebook page at Game Select um on Facebook mm. or go to uh, gameselect.com.br or you can email Atari Game Select at gmail.com. It's $38.50. Mm. I don't know if that's shipping included or not. I'm not sure. I guess it depends on where you are. Mm. So the next game we are going to play is A Space Taxi by Jeff Haber, also known as Just Jeff on the Atari Age forums. Nice. Um, as I said, this is one of my favorite... Well, you're going to have to play this. Then. Um, it is just kind of the start of a game. So uh, you'll be fine playing it. All right. Well, no. Do you want to play I'll it and I'll read about out? It. Okay. There's not much to talk about. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. Just in time. It is a 64K <laughs> game. Okay. Um, so you're a little taxi. Mm-hmm. And you go around and pick up people. And you have to put out your landing gear with a button. And you can't move left or right once your landing gear is out, only up and down. So you don't want to squish oh. the person or hit anything else. You can hit the landing pads and land on them, but don't hit, don't land too hard. Uh, first posted January 14th, 2017. So he's been working on this for quite a while. We're thinking about it. Uh, this build is from September 3rd, 2022. Um... Yes, that was made by some Brazilian guys, as M. Souza 3D said. That is correct. <laughs> some Brazilian guys. Um, just Jeff. Just Jeff, his name is a paradox. I expect this game to be a mind F. That's funny. Um, so he also made B Blocks, which we played as well. No. Uh, his first post was Has anyone ever attempted Space Taxi on the 2600? I think the 2600 could do a pretty decent version of it. And we have, and you have to, you see down the bottom right, it says you have to go to pad three. Oh. So you have to land on pad three to drop them off where they want to go. Oh, I didn't realize that. Okay. That makes sense. You have to land nice and softly. And he got dropped hey. off. And he says, hey. And so you have to take off again and go pick up the next person. 
cute. And you have to deliver them to the, where they want to go. Cute. Um, so in September 30, said detaching the latest bin, now there is somewhat playable screen. Notice an itinerary is now in the bottom right corner on the dashboard. Ah. This guy wants to leave and go to a different screen. So he says, up. Now on the C64, it had voices. It said, pad two, please. <laughs> up, please. Uh, you're done again. Oh, but that's that's the... Oh, it doesn't reset. That, so that is, that's the, the demo he's got. And it's got all Very, the basics. Yeah, it has everything you need, really. It's got the pickup, the drop off. It's yeah. got the deaths. It's got the landing gear. It's got exiting. The collision. The... It's got the collision. It's, um, all it needs now is, it the, the score is based on tips. Uh, no, this is put out way before Fifth Element, the original game. It was in the 80s. Um, so now he's just got to do the tips because when you pick up, when the person calls you, yes. that's when the tips start counting down. Yes, yes, and then yeah, you show me. When you drop them off, that's when the tips get added to your score. So the slower you are, the, the less, fewer tips you get. Yeah. Mean. And each, <laughs> and each screen is a different layout. Yeah. And different number of pads. This is the most basic version of pads, straight up landing pads some things you have to navigate around sometimes yeah, there's and things. things shooting at you sometimes there's rotating things and there's been a, a couple of other attempts at space taxi and people have gotten so far on different ones we might have looked at an earlier version of this when we compared the different works in progress of space taxi mm -hmm. nobody's taken it further than one screen though so i'm really hoping just jeff will um take Complete this it? and complete it it's now that he's got all the basics done he's got everything done so now he just needs to implement like i said the tip um different screens and all you have to do is make sure that you are not if he wants to avoid flicker make sure you're not putting the person and the same line as you want to do another use of the player zero. Um, looks like he's using, like, say, player one's missile and the ball, maybe, to use the, the curved end of the platforms. So it looks... And Kev Kelly says, I can't imagine adding more screens being too difficult. Yeah, it's just, you know, making the screens. And... In their disposal, they have play field, which I'm guessing the one, two, three, four is mostly made of. Mm -hmm. uh, the ball is the end. Uh, they, and you also have missile zero available to you. And wherever a passenger doesn't appear, they also have the player one character available mm. as well. So you can do fairly decent designs with the ball and uh, missile one and the play field filling the rest and making up uh, more of it. And if you want to get fancy, you can use player one and use flicker and, and have some flicker, but so far it looks like he's avoiding flicker, except for the exit up there. I don't know what he's using there, but it's flickering two things back and forth. Um, so it says, it took me quite a while to figure this out and use more tables than I thought it would. Most of this is based on RAM bytes named itinerary and passenger state. In the attached bin, the itinerary essentially says pad two, pad three, pad four, up. Player st uh, state tracks if he is visible, boarding, hailing. Also, when he exits a taxi, it looks like he's walking towards it, so he just has to reverse that and get him to walk out of the taxi in a way. Um, but you also have to take into account, oh, is the taxi shoved up against the left-hand side of the pad? Yeah, it has to. Where on the pad is the taxi, and where is the room to exit the taxi as well? Cool. I keep expecting to see you picking up items. Yeah. No, there's Not nothing left quite to pick. yet. <laughs> but it's fully, fully functional. Um, Bomberman commented, wow, the last build is slowly getting a real game. I like it a lot. Great physics and graphics could be even better than the 6064 ones. Possibly. And I really, really, really hope he uses the Atari Vox as well for the voices. Oh, yeah. Because you can have it without Atari Vox and just have it in the corner. So you know, yeah. oh, he needs to go to path three or whatever. And he's already implemented that. Oh, you can land on the ground. Yeah, oh, okay. I did, I've done that multiple times oh, already. Yeah. Didn't see that. Just playing around. Um, but adding the Atari Vox will be super, super, super awesome. Always love games with gravity. Yeah. Trust a lot. I was going to say, <laughs> Kev Kelly loves gravity. Yes. <laughs> as you should. As Does you should. Does this game have thrust-like mechanics? 
Um, there is wind resistance. You will slow down left and right. Um, and there is gravity, so you'll slow, like if you push up, you'll have an arc of gravity pulling you down as well. So that is pretty much this game. I wanted to show it off because I really want to encourage Just Jeff yeah. to keep going <laughs> keep on it. Going. This is such a fun game. It's pretty cool the way it is. I mean, you can see all the mechanics working in there. So You can imagine, oh, there's different layouts, things you have to avoid. Uh, there's also gravity, mm. like uh, a central gravity that you have to navigate around. It keeps pulling you in. Mm -hmm. There's lots of things that, that you can add into it. So let's go on to the next game, Duck Race. Get your buttons ready because they're going to get worn out. It's time for Duck Race. Okay. So this is a two player only game. Okay. Uh, very nice, colorful top screen there. It's by Fort Apocalypse. Um, and Fort Apocalypse is a 2600 game making machine. Okay. They have made 19 games so far this wow. year. They usually concentrate on 4K games, really simple, really small, okay. um, and bang them out really quick. Okay. It's only completed like four out of the 19. He just keeps going to the next one, next one, next one. He's enjoying himself. Yeah. yeah. And um, some of them are really simple. This one I thought, okay, let's play this one. Okay. It's, it's cute. Okay. It's quick. It's fun. It has duck in the title. It has so duck I'm in sold. the title. It has race in the title. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this was first posted and only posted on September 5th. It's 4K game. I'm not going to list all the games he's made because there's a billion. How to play. Press a button to start. Don't press a button until the beginning of the final beep. Keep pressing a button over and over to move the duck. Try to beat the other player. Okay. After both ducks have finished, wait a while and press either button to start over or press reset at any time to go to the title screen. Okay. So Very it's, it's a racing game. It's a press a button as fast as you can. Yeah. Okay. There's the duck. You're the top. I'm the bottom, I think. Duck two's in the lead, but duck no! one is not far behind. <laughs> oh, duck two is pulling ahead. And duck two has passed the line, has turned around. He's going halfway through. Oh my goodness. And he's waddling as fast as he can. Look at those little duck feet go. <laughs> the orange feet are going really, oh, you're really going quick. so much faster than me. And he's going strong into the finish and he's across the finish line <laughs> in a flurry of colors <laughs> and duck two has finished duck one has finished he's as so well. happy <laughs> yay, 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 yay. now you can see why i put this on the show it's so it's cute so cute it's <laughs> So simple. Um, this would be a great kids game. Yeah. For kids who just don't know how to play much, they just press buttons. It's perfect. It's, it's perfect for a kid with any age. still figuring out their hand coordination, yep. right? S uh, <laughs> something a little different between the duck colors would be good. Like they have a hat or... Mm. I don't know. A little bit different color body, maybe. They're both cute, and they're both they they, they don't cross paths, so it's still fine. Or a necktie, a necktie, and a <laughs> and a little uh, scarf yeah. trailing behind them because they could use both player characters. <laughs> so cute! Uh, I love that he's just bouncing. It's so cute. <laughs> Kev Kelly says, I think if he finishes a good amount of games, he should make a super multi-card of his yeah. games. That's a great idea. It's just a bunch of banks. Yeah. And the first 4K is the menu. For oh, them. my goodness. We do need we need to teach them to hit the, the buttons, and we'll see who gets to that gets the That would be perfect. What, bing, they, bing, what bing, we could bing, do bing, 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 bing. is hook up the bells. Oh, so it makes a bell noise when they hit it. Yeah, every time. And they get a treat. And just make the make the game shorter, so they don't have to do press it as much. Oh my goodness! Or we could play for them. We could press the button. Yeah. Like ten times every time they they ring the bell. Yeah. So we could play in conjunction with the cat. I think it would be way funnier if yeah. you just put. The, do you just make these ding? You just need to put a little bell in the in the button, <laughs> and then they just the black cat would just be like ding 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 ding, <laughs> ding, ding <laughs> the ding, whole ding, time. Ding. Like where's my treat? Uh, I tried to make my swans different in Lake Eola by having different colored beaks, beaks or, or necks. necks yeah. Oh yeah, they could just do a different color neck. It's pretty small, but that might work. <laughs> so you can. We're not going to play it again. No, it, it is quite tense. Destruction on the buttons. 
But yeah, oh it's my very gosh, tense. that is so cute. Super, super cute. <laughs> um, we're also going to be playing another game by Ford Apocalypse next called Eight Tanks. Okay. Uh, this one uses <laughs> the Quad Tari, actually. Um, and eight paddles. So we're both going to be controlling four tanks each. So let's see how this goes. So let's load it up first before I can connect them so it's easier to load up. If you could load up eight tanks for me, please. And I will switch over the cartridge graphic. And there we go. Unplug the joysticks. That's a lot of tanks. That's a lot of tanks and a lot of paddles coming out. No, 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 no. Those just hook up. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> I'm excited to see this one. Do you not have eight people to invite over for a proper deno, uh, demo? Not right now. Uh, even Friday's show is uh, moved to Saturday because Darcy, the house is not ready for Darcy to come over. No, it's we not, need to clean. We need to clean. <laughs> we need to disinfect. After being covid -y. We don't really want to be a super spreader event. I think no. if we invited six people over, um, then we might get shut down by BC Health. So, <laughs> yes. um, yeah. They wouldn't like We're going to have to make sure everything's okay before we start. COVID. Oh, yeah, COVIDness. <laughs> yeah. Yep. So that's port one. Just see it on the news. Yeah. And the gaming event. And the, and the O'Brien household was a super spreader event. They invited six friends over to play. Is this correct, sir? The Atari 2600? <laughs> Isn't that an ancient game system? Are you living in the 80s, sir? Yeah. Or more importantly, someone in their 20s going, I don't I don't know what that what is. is. That? Like, what is that? <laughs> Xbox 2600? That's really in the future, yeah. old man. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Oh, that's three sets. Is house ever really truly ready for Darcy? No, it's not. Mm -hmm. Darcy is a whirlwind mm -hmm. of energy. And four. Okay, so I will control these four over here. And you will control those four. And it is a button game because that's how um, paddle games work for eight people. I think this is the one of the very few eight player games on the 2600. Uh, Vroom is another one of them. Okay. I can't remember if there's another eight player game made. Oh, no, no. <laughs> you don't have to play it simultaneously. Um, <laughs> oh my god, she's got it all going. All four. Look at them go. Oh my god. Four of those tanks are going. I thought you said I had to play them simultaneously. Well, no, you don't. Uh, eight I, tanks. I, that was my assumption. <laughs> You're going to kill yourself, by the way. Um, is a DPC Plus 32K game from 2600 with a Kotari and four sets of tennis paddles. In theory, this should work with a Harmony card. It does. Um, important note, the Quantario only sports paddle buttons, not the knobs. This is a work in progress for now. Um, la, 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 done. Uh, control and move eight tanks. If you leave the button unpressed, the tank spins clockwise slowly. Thank you, Ricardo Pam, for subscribing. 24 months. It's awesome. Okay, listen to the instructions. Take just one of those so you can figure out how to play. Fun. This is okay. cool. If you leave the button unpressed, the tank spins slowly clockwise. So which one do you have? Which? <laughs> Sorry. When I read the game, we will do that in a second. <laughs> so which one do you have? You're the red. red. Okay. If you leave the button unpressed, the tank spins slowly clockwise, which it is doing. Uh, if you press the button, the tank moves forward and fires. Uh, sounds when the tank shoots. Colors, play field, and tank placement simpler, similar to Tank 8. Oh, I should have shown that. that this is a port of a game um, in the arcade where there are eight people playing, and it looks just like this. Mm. Um, play field li limit looks similar to that of Atari Tank 8. Projectiles stop when hits play field. Uh, fix some uh, projectile bugs. Hey, stop it. Bad cat. Still to be planned, collision detection for missiles hitting each other. another player. Oh, did they not kill each other? I thought they did. No, they're not killing each other. Oh, no. Okay. Um, Eight-player scores. Oh, wow. 
Alternating four player scores with matching tank colors, so it's gonna flip, flip, flip. Blows up tanks one shot. Sound when a tank blows up. Some game sense of game over. So, uh, so this doesn't actually fully play yet, but I wanted to show it to encourage him to do it. So let's see, where am I? I am the yellow. yellow. So when you're the red. So yeah, it doesn't kill. No. And you can drive through walls right now. So you can drive straight if you hold down the button. Then you wait for it to turn. Drive straight. And then you can wait for it to turn and then shoot. And you can keep shooting if you... Oh, it's still on a timer. It doesn't reset the timer when you shoot. So you can't completely keep uh, going forward and pressing. So, let's get all eight going. How did you do this? You have to, you kind of... Like this? Right, oh, okay. Let's see. Okay, I got it. There's purple. purple Get stuff. back okay. to the ducks, oh, says my castler. Get back to the ducks. <laughs> there we go. All eight tanks are moving. Purple's not moving. Who has purple? Thank you, have purple. No, purple's just stuck. Oh, look, he's going sideways, and he's shooting the wrong direction. Yeah, that does seem to happen. So, a uh, really smart implementation of movement and firing with just one button, so... Very, very clever Ford Apocalypse. For, look at them all go! Look at them all go! <laughs> look at them all go! <laughs> I don't know if he's seen all eight tanks going on a real system yet. <laughs> but they do work. 100% they all work. So hopefully when he implements collision uh, detection, I'm guessing he's going to have to do hardware collision detection. Or no, software collision detection because of the flickering, but maybe not. Oh, he does have flicker management, too. Oh, okay, let's try and get all eight tanks at the top of okay. the screen. So get all your tanks going to the top. Okay, I've got that one. Which one does this do? Oh, that one's yellow. I want to stress his flicker management out. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Those two are up there. This guy's going, like, the wrong way. Yellow's up there. Uh, it's just me now. Oh, as long as they're on the same line. Yeah. It's all good. And just my last one. There we go. There we go. They're all on the same Ooh. line. Pretty flicker-tastic, uh -huh. but they're there. Chance of that happening in a real-world <coughs> scenario is very, very uh, slim. So I'm guessing it's at uh, 15 hertz, which is the same as Pac-Man uh, mm. Ghosts. Mm. Terrible. <laughs> but great idea. It's cool. It's very yeah. cool. Part of the flicker manager is avoid avoiding the opponent, yes. Uh, this is exactly the vision I had in my head. Now I forget what technical question I had. Yeah, <laughs> nice bit, bit of flicker control. It did really, uh, works really well. Mm. The dev is not in the chat, unfortunately. I don't know if I've ever seen Ford Apocalypse in the chat. I don't remember. No, I don't think Maybe, so. Maybe. Yeah. But uh, hopefully he'll see this. And yeah. if you have any questions, uh, just go to the forums or you can type it here. Maybe he'll see it after. Yeah. Um, so for the <coughs> last game of the night, it is Lion Man by Ooh. Kev Kelly, who is in the chat. Yay, Yay. Kev Kelly. So if you do have questions, he will be able to answer. <laughs> uh, now I've done huck all this mess and clean it up after. That was fun. That is going to be a really fun game. Even with two people, you can like switch over to another tank after your tank is destroyed or something. Yeah. Look at this. Look at this octopus of. Uh, <laughs> it's uh, the Octomom. Controllers. The Octo controller. Octo controller. Ah, it's coming for you. Ah. <laughs> Surprised oh. the cats aren't running away, actually. Uh, yeah. He's just like, eh, whatever. <laughs> We're used to this. Take that, you wireless generation. <laughs> Love our wires. <laughs> no lag wiring. It's great. I don't know why I'm hooking up two. This only takes one. It's a one player game, but that's okay. <laughs> okay, let's turn this on. 
So, a line man by uh, Kev Kelly. Uh, it's a work in progress. First posted Jan June 26th um, on YouTube mm -hmm. um, and August 7th in the Atari Age forums. This is this build is not posted yet, um, but this is from August 14th. Oh. Nice. Hello, Anthony Helms. Welcome, Anthony Helms. Anthony Nelms. Nelms, sorry. Boy. That's a C64 magazine I had a subscription to in the 80s. Nice. Um, ahoy. <laughs> now we need a game in which one player has to use eight <laughs> pads to... <laughs> you could tape them together I think, and have, like, keys. I think a music game <laughs> would be awesome. Oh, 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 I've got an idea. That seems like a very waste of input. No, no, no. Yeah. You need eight inputs. Yeah. It's a game where essentially you're recreating the sound of when you rub wine glasses. So it's like, ooh, ooh, you turn the, spin, spin the paddles, spin oh, the paddles, the, the and it makes the noise. The spinners don't work. It, only no. the buttons are eight. You can have four. Yes. But you'd have to use the driving controllers. Yeah. Um, um, They're they doubles, though, spinning. right? Uh, you can hook up four drivers. Oh my controllers. gosh! I, I I need to figure out how to how to make that game. <laughs> I would the enjoy buttons. that so much. I, don't know if the, <laughs> I think the buttons work on those too, so you can like switch and go switch. Yeah, go low and high, yep. or change the tones. There you go. Oh. Okay. Well. Oh my this. goodness. Oh my. You goodness. can make that game. I, I, I wish I could it's program. A, <laughs> this is a 32k game uh, in his long line of job games. Yeah. Bag Boy, Cross Dock, Lawn Boy, mm -hmm. Litter Bug, Pizza Boy. Um, he also made Pin Finger, Quiztari, Stagecoach, Forest Moon Attack, wow. Lake Eola, uh, Coneball, ATCS 2600. Yeah. Um, and, uh, oh, this is very loud. You guys probably can't hear me. Beautiful lineman. Um, yeah, it's very nice. Sunset there. Very nice graphic. Yeah. Um, so you can start the game. Okay. You can move around and play. It's it's very hard to die in this game. Is it? Uh, uh, about as with many of my games, lineman had started oh. as a test program. While I was finishing up cross dock, which remains almost done, I had made this game to work out what? some of the ideas using DP plus kernel that I. What am I doing? Uh, get the balloons. Oh. And you press the button and pop them with your hand. By pressing left or right. No, that didn't do. Do it now. Left or right. Go up the pole. There you go. Uh, gotcha. Uh, using Bag Boy and hopes and figuring out some code. It started over a little two years ago with no real aim. Originally, I had things like birds, nests, transformers, cross streets, and cars. But the simplified the but the simplified the game uh. or reworked other elements. I also played around with Alien Bill's Atari Background Builder, formerly splash matic and the Atari Rift Machine. I was able to use both of them for the title screen to make a neat little splash screen and intro song. I may change the intro song for something a bit longer, but I thought the two combined had looked great and was something different. After revisiting the DPC Plus kernel with Forest Moon Attack, I came up with an idea on gameplay and revisited Line Man to implement some of the new ideas. It was also nice to try and wrap up the game, being that I had several projects in the works and was just finishing up Litterbug. You've got to follow your balloon. Follow your balloon. I'm not sure what the little kid's there for. Just uh, to look good, I guess. Just like, I lost my balloon. Help me. <laughs> help. help me. I oh. want all the balloons. And you can go down the pole fast by pressing the button and down. Oh. Uh -huh. Um... Da, 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 da. Uh, while I originally tried to avoid flicker, it seemed to be inevitable that it would occur, as when I kept the balloons all moving at the same rate, it was extremely easy to sit in a spot and collect them as they passed. So to help with the flicker, I tried to keep spawning spaced out on a counter, as well as distance from other balloons. If the balloons get... Oh, and I have two balloons to deal with. <laughs> I find the middle one is the best to kind of camp on. And get the toolbox by pressing down uh, when you're above it. Oh, it disappeared. And don't get close, too close to the wires. You'll get zapped. Yeah, you, you fall. Yep. Um, if balloons get too close, they will go up or down to make the appropriate amount of space. I also animate the balloon string so the balloons, uh, should the balloons get too close and flicker, when the string animates and disappears for a frame, it will help reduce the flicker a little bit more. Ah. Oh, you got zapped. I fell. 
He is be he is there to be there, Kev Kelly says, that little guy. Yeah. Why not? He follows you He's around. He's like a little black kitten. Yeah, mew, 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 mew. As it is now, the game is probably close to 98% complete. Oh, you got zapped too close. Flew close, too close to the sun. Uh, needs a little testing for pacing and difficulty. I may add a couple more things like additional toolboxes or a couple more things for added difficulty or variation. I think I found all the major game breaking bugs or annoying scanline issues. Not tested this on hardware, this might be old information, but I'd noticed in emulation there's some graphical glitches where it seemed like a scanline on the top of the sprites, the balloon boy, and life counters. And that seemed to shift several spaces over for a frame. Hoping it's an emulation issue of. Well, let's skip that because that's probably old info. You play as the eponymous lineman who is working where Balloon Boy, aka Timmy, as no named by my four year old, has, <laughs> Timmy. Uh, Timmy. <laughs> Timmy. Uh, has seemingly let his balloons release into the air. He did. That's It's all his fault. Um. <laughs> uh, being the responsible line man you are, you must try and retrieve the balloons before they fly off into the sky beyond your reach. While you make your way up and down the utility poles, you must also avoid sinkholes, electric shock, and swooping, defecating birds. That bird has been pretty well behaved so far. I haven't seen a lot of defecate no. defecation. You can also pick up toolboxes that may provide a variety of different benefits, ranging from an increased score or status bar to an additional life. Have you gotten any of the toolboxes? Get it? Get it? There you go. Oh, there's no I one. I have. Um, while on the sidewalk, you can move left or right by using the joystick. You can also go and jump by pressing the fire button. Mm -hmm. You can uh, use this to get over sinkholes, which I don't think have appeared yet. Uh, that may form on the sidewalk or jump onto the utility pole on an, in a rush. Oh, I didn't know you could jump onto the utility pole. You don't have to get the balloons, I don't think. I don't know if there's punishments for not getting the balloons. There's time. There's some sort of time at the bottom, but... So we'll figure out what those are. There's two counters. Oh, now there's three balloons. Oh, the bird ate it. The bird ate the balloon? <laughs> Looks like it. Oh my god, that's not good for boat birds. I know, no, no, um, Yeah, well in the oh, Well on the utility mm -hmm. pole, you can move up or down. If you climb to the top of the pole, you can move left or right, but be careful as you can fall off if you travel too far, get shocked, or hit by a bird attacking. While on the pole, you can move down quicker by pressing the fire button. If you press left or right while also pressing the fire button, the line will reach out in the direction uh, you push and grab the balloon. Uh, on the bottom of the screen, you have the balloon boy's happiness meter. So that's the happiness meter. Uh, on the right is the lineman's meter. Okay. Uh, for each balloon that flies away, the balloon boy meter will decrease. Okay, so you got to keep the left one full. So it just rolled over, actually. Mine did. Uh, the left one's ah. the boy. Uh-oh. Now you're in trouble. Zaps are coming. Reminds me of uh, Donkey Kong Jr. screen number two. <laughs> with the zapping going along the wires. Uh... If the line meter disappears, you lose a life. So on the right-hand side, it's almost to zero. Oh, the right? Yeah, that's your... The right is the lineman, and the, and the left, left is, is the, the boy. boy. Every time a balloon disappears, the boy's happiness goes down. I'm not... Uh, oh, I see. Once the, the boy's line disappears, then your line goes down a bit. Oh, I see. Um... The only way to get a new life is to grab a red toolbox. Uh, the white toolbox increases your status bar. All other colors give a variety of points. So you want the white and you want the red in particular. The other ones are just points. Oh, lost Died. a life. It's okay. Yours went to zero. Yeah. Uh, I'm guessing the red toolbar is really rare. Oh, oh, there's the holes in the floor now. Now it's getting challenging. If you fall into a sinkhole, the lineman meter will decrease. Oh, so you don't lose a life by going into that. Press the fire button, jump out of the sinkhole. It will disappear and reform elsewhere. Uh, if the bird attacks, you touch a spark or go to the far on the pole, you will fall and the lineman meter will decrease. Getting pretty hectic now. Well, I can't get back over now. Yeah, you can jump over the hole. Jump. Yay. Um... If the uh, the bird if the bird defecates on you, then you will not fall, but you will see the lineman me meter decrease. So only the only way 
for the kids meter to go down if the balloon disappears. That's it. Everything else makes the lineman meter go down. Mm. Um, so you want that white one. That'll go make yours go up. Oh, you're at full. Doesn't help. Um, the game currently progresses from one to three balloons. The spark, the hole, the swooping bird, which I haven't seen yet, and the poop, <laughs> which we haven't seen yet either. So you're not quite on. Oh, there. Oh. oh, jump out of it. There, now it should change to a different spot, he says. Uh, oh, the reset will reset the game. On the game over screen, you can press the reset switch or the fire button to start a new game. So you're still doing okay. You have two lives left. But if you see a red toolbox, oh, I know. get it immediately. Oh, ah. now he's pooping. It's not Pooper. It's not swooping yet, but I think it says oh, it only happens goodness. when you're at the top. And it's pretty hard to get to the top now because of that spark, right? Hmm. Does he poop immediately or randomly? He poops wherever you are. Oh, no. So that's hard now to get up the... Um, it's almost impossible to get them now because of the pooping. Well, it's oh, you hard. Have to, you, have you have to go, to go up down, and down quick. Definitely gets harder. Yeah, increases quite quickly. Let's see. Don't you hate it when you walk in the kitchen, discover the meaning of life, and then forget it on the way back to watch ZPH? It's terrible. It happens all the time. <laughs> it happens to us it constantly. RC70 said that. Nostalgic says a nice variety of things to manage. Getting balloons, getting toolboxes, avoiding sinkholes, and spark. There's a I lot like going on. Yeah, it's a really smart arrangement of things happening. And he even added a little kid with a balloon just because there is a spot there to do it. <laughs> yeah. Really, really great. Like the birds on its own line, the sparks are on their own line, um, the, the boys on its own line, the toolboxes are on their own line. Uh, and the floor opening is, is I'm guessing, playfield or could be a, a black um, uh, missile. Possibly. I don't think so, though. It was suggested I make the lineman song. But you may try to program that as an Easter egg. <laughs> the lineman. Is that an actual song? That Zed page is in my office. What do I choose? Remember the song Wichita Lineman? Well, there you go. That's a good song. Definitely put it in the game. Sounds like an ancient song. Probably be okay to okay to go for it. Your own, own rendition of it. Sounds like a folk song. It does. <clears throat> Americana folk song. Still two lives. Doing good. It's not too bad. I'm not. I'm not sure I'm doing good, but. Well, because every you are missing tons of balloons. I am because of the bird pooping. Because he just whenever he encounters you, he tries to poop on you. <laughs> So you have to dodge constantly. Oh. You're not going down the poles fast. No, but I you're don't need to. Because you go the exact same speed as the poop. Yeah. Oh. I would suggest... I'd rather not go fast. Speeding up the poop a little bit and making yeah. the time between poop longer rather than constant poop. Because you can always avoid the poop not even speeding up going down the pole. Oh my god, that was close. So really what you want to do, oh, want to do is Getting off the pole is a problem stand sometimes. beside the pole until he poops and then go up the pole. Give it to me. Oh, Yay. nice. Red one. I'm guessing that's a really rare because it would make it too easy. Oh, my goodness. I like barely ever pick them up, I find. I find picking them up quite challenging, actually. So you have to touch them with your arm, right? You yeah. You can't just touch them. Uh, no, you can't. No. I would suggest also just be able to touch the balloon and get them. I think that'd be too easy. You think so? Yep. I yeah. actually do. Uh, you're not really touching them almost ever. Uh, it's hard to touch them. It's well, hard that's to be I mean. in the right position, that, but I actually oh, get think that it's one. better. Get that one. Get that one. Which one? Oh, the white oh, toolbox. Right. Oh, get that one. I don't know if you can go over three, I, but oh, oh it they're matter. fast now. RC70 says, you go exactly same speed as the poop made me laugh way too hard. <laughs> it is well, quite a statement. It's the truth. Yeah, it's what, the truth. What, what is that thing on, on Reddit where they say brand new sentence? A brand new sentence. That's oh, what it's a, called. A brand new sentence? Yeah, you go exactly the same speed as the poop is definitely 
a sentence that nobody has oh, ever he's, said he's, before. Oh, he's, he's uh, dive bombing now, too. <gasps> he's pooping and dive bombing. <laughs> is he? Oh, there he is. When you climb up the pole, he's he's like, yep, he's coming up the pole. Yeah. How far does he dive bomb? Just wait. Oh, wait there. Hold on. I can't because he keeps there. pooping. Uh, there, 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 there. Oh, he goes way down. Does go all the way. Get that one. Get that one. Get that one. I, I, doubt, I don't I, need it. I doubt it. It probably maxes at three. Kev Kelly, does it max oh. at three? Oh, now you're gonna need one. Oh, it's fine. How much more can this bird poop? There was a Commodore 64 game where you were a bird. Oh, he got me. And you, <clears throat> and and you pooped on things. Did you? What was that game that called? Totally sounds like a Commodore 64 game. It was really oh. fun too. Like you po pooped on cars. Did you? And I think you had to collect straw for your nest, for your baby birds. Well, that's it was funny. a really good game. Tomorrow I'll be running to work at the speed of poop. <laughs> 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 the speed of poop. Well, you'll be dodging it the whole time then, if you're running at the speed of poop. <laughs> Yeah, I tried more balloons, but programming the collisions took a lot. Uh, I see, yeah. Three is definitely enough. Uh, yeah. I don't think you need more than three balloons. No, you got a lot going on here, so... I think the poop needs to be... There needs to be less poop. <laughs> a little bit less poop. Because it almost makes it impossible to get up the poles. Yeah. Either make it so you just touch the balloons and, you're, and you get them. Or less poop. Less frequent oh, poop. I'm almost dead, I think. Cut down the frequency. Cut down the poop frequency? Yeah. I think it'd be funny if um, the poop didn't hurt you, yeah. but your helmet eventually turned white and then you moved slower. <laughs> <laughs> and you, oh, that's funny. That's a whole new mechanic. <laughs> it's true. That's a whole other level of and then, mechanics. Then it's just a lot harder to run up the pole and get, <laughs> get the, the balloons. Is the poop a missile? You're just weighted, you're just weighted down the by poop bird poop. The poop is definitely a missile. You can see it changing <laughs> colors as it goes down. Uh, it's, um, it's missile one, I'm guessing, because it's... I always assume the main character's missile <clears throat> is player zero. <laughs> let's just say that. So it's definitely... It matches the balloon colors as it goes down. You can't find any reference to a C64 game featuring bird poop? Oh, I'm going to find it. <laughs> challenge challenge accepted. Oh. It is ex it C64. Let's see. Where is it? It may not have bird in the title. That's that's the problem. It's not Bird Mother. It's not that one. No? No, because that comes up. And Flappy Bird, obviously it's not that. It's too new. Too new. It seemed like a British... There it is, Potty Pigeon. Potty Pigeon? Potty Pigeon. That is definitely British. Uh, I am going to load that up so we can watch it after this. Oh, am I finally dead? Oh, Game you did it. Game over. 495. <coughs> Awesome. So when I was testing this out, I found that in the early levels, you just stay in the middle. Oh, yeah. Because they don't, like, change directions. No, it's true. Which I think would be a, a good addition. It might change too much of his um, uh, gameplay, mm. whether it kind of floats and changes direction with the wind. Like a... a a change of wind direction yeah because they always go to the center i find at least in the early the early levels so you just stay right here or you can just do that oh no no i missed one the kid is very unhappy oh no sad cat yeah very unique concept kev kelly is definitely Got so many unique concepts yes. for his games because this is really good. I really you like don't it. you don't see a lot of simulator job simulator games. I mean, there's lots of lawn mowing ones. <laughs> for some reason, there's so many lawn mowing games that were put out in the '80s. There oh. were just a lot of dads who yep. did a lot of mowing and a lot of who also happened to be programmers. Ooh, That's how I see it. <laughs> ah, missed it. 
Yeah, yeah, program what you know. That's right. <laughs> Potty Pigeon is hilarious. Yeah, it is crazy game. It's it's very challenging though, Potty mm. Pigeon. Because the bird flies all over the place super quick. Do you have it playing on the screen there? That's I, I do. I, I was gonna show it after. Yeah, no, fair enough. I'm just gonna play this a little bit. Sure. So does the level change on score? Or does it change on number of balloons popped? Uh, Kevin. How do you... Oh, you have to go all the way to the you top. You do. It, it, it's, it's harder to hit the balloons on the upper level, because if you're is, on the edge of that pole, it won't yeah. let you reach out. You have to move. I think on the higher levels, there's no chance of you even getting close <sighs> to that top. It's hard. Because this... It is based on how many balloons you grab. Oh! Hmm, wonder if I can um, hack the game here then. Huh? By just getting the toolboxes. Yeah, but the, the, the boy will get unhappy if you don't get balloons, and you'll die eventually. Not if I get uh, continuously white toolboxes. But the white only helps you, not the boy's happiness. Yeah, but that's what counts. The boy's happiness goes down to zero. You yeah. watch it. And that will go down just by one. Oh. And if I get a white toolbox, it, it goes, goes all the up. way to top. Yeah. You might be able to cheese it. And, and if I get a red toolbox, see, I'm back to zero. The game is reset at that point. Yeah. And I will never go to level two because it's harder. It's like, why would I ever get those balloons? That's a good point. If he's programmed it, mm. uh, hmm, lol. Because mm. <laughs> that's the first thing I thought of when I played this game. Like, I wonder how often the toolboxes come up. It might be better if the boy gets really upset that you actually lose a life. Well, like it, it like there's a higher stake. Well, the, the game has to be balanced. Yeah. Like, so, like if 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 him getting so look unhappy. At that. If I lost a life, yeah. I'd be back to zero again. Slightly. You get those balloons because you're a good and kind person. It's too, no, yes. it's, I'll buy him a thousand balloons. <laughs> With the overtime that I'm getting. With the overtime. These poles, because he's, yeah, he's you on might the have clock. To, you might have to tweak the toolboxes. He's on the clock doing this. He can't yeah. be doing off-clock pole climbing. Yeah. He has to have a, a, all the equipment. He has yeah. to have the tool belts. Um, he can't just be climbing up poles getting balloons. That's too dangerous. I actually think the toolbox shouldn't give the lineman um, back anything. Oh, no. I think it could give the boy back something. Yeah. So that he gets, he oh. like, if you're not catching enough balloons, Change you get white. a bit of respite. Change the white to fill the boy, The not boy yours. and not yours, and then you get a bit of respite, but that's you're a, never going to earn it back. That's a very good, easy fix, actually. You're never going to earn it back. Yeah. Yeah. That might, just, that might be the option, is to flip it that way. <laughs> no, Randomize a, a poison. <laughs> well, that's mean. Yeah. Because... Then you just the person be like, no, forget yeah. the toolbox. Because because for someone who doesn't know how to play, I played it for an awfully long time, and if if you can't get the lineman's power bar back, then you really have to be a lot better at getting the balloons. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Because then once you lose some, then that's it. So if the dad killed himself because his son got too sad about how crappy he is at his job, <laughs> it would make this officially the darkest video game of all time. Yeah. Look, I'm so happy about your balloons. <laughs> <laughs> and how many balloons does this kid have? Yeah. This, uh, like, this kid bought way too many balloons. I mean, it's really his fault for buying, are you, are you, um, buying a thousand balloons. Are you basically calling this just, you're, you're calling out the parents in this case for buying I mean, the kid too many balloons? I mean, yeah, look at all that wasted helium. Ah. There is, there's, there's a, a problem with the amount of helium we have in the world, and <laughs> this kid is wasting it. And shouldn't uh. I be grabbing those balloons without touching them? Like, nope, look, you have to grab them look, from there. I'm right here. My hand is touching it. No. I have to Too easy. physically reach out and grab it. I was going to add a toolbox for the boy and then reduce the frequencies. Mm. I would just not have him increase his... I don't know. I, you'll have to play with the balance of it, I think. I would say... Look, look. Yeah. I have four lives now. Yeah. Yeah. 
The the balance of the toolboxes need to be tweaked and change yeah. the white toolbox to be the boy, see? Yeah, I don't think you should be able to get Practical. the line the lineman's health back. No. I think you you should be able to get extra lives. Yes. But um yeah. it should be the boy who you you get a bit of respite from him eating away at your at yeah, your health. Yeah. I think that is a bit better. Yeah. I did consider <laughs> bees. That would be great. Because it needs a face full of bees. Like bees flying <laughs> ju just above the boy or oh, something. Oh, no. That would be good. The bees attack the boy. No. <laughs> face full of bees. And you could make the bees just like um, a no. flickering mass <laughs> he doesn't need bees. of missiles. <laughs> He doesn't like need Like a bees. bunch of missiles, and you wouldn't have to use the uh, um, the player characters up. That would be good. Shouldn't the balloons pop once they hit the power lines? Well, it's a 3D perspective. Yeah. Okay, good. I've criticized this enough. <laughs> Made suggestions. It doesn't deserve a lot of criticism. No, it's, it's pretty cool. really, it's really good. Fun. Alien was thrown back like <laughs> aspirin. in the 80s. Everybody's... <laughs> Talking high with their their balloons. Yeah, everyone every every game needs bees. Yeah. It does. <laughs> yeah, and bats, and little black cats. Oh, he's oh. so cute. Excellent, fun, fun game. Um, looks like it's almost done. Just needs a tiny bit of tweaking, so you can't do what I'm doing and just sit here forever mm -hmm. waiting for toolboxes. Yeah. <laughs> Ignoring the kids' cries, the pleads. Oh, help, help, help. Mean Uncle James. Yeah, yeah, it's terrible. Thank you very much, Dan. Um, so, uh, today we played Hero 2. Yes. Really fun, challenging twist on the original Hero with all new mazes. Level 9 is, yeah. oh my god, crazy. Actually, I should just turn this off so you guys don't hear it in the background. Um, uh, so that is a very fun game that, uh, if you like Hero, you will definitely like Hero 2. Ow! Vicious. Uh, we played Space Taxi. Yes. A very good beginning. Very good. It's got the game engine going. And I can't wait for levels. More levels! Mm -hmm. That's all he needs, is more levels. The first level works perfectly. Right? You pick up, drop off, fly up to the top. Nice. Uh, Duck Race, great game for it kids. It was so cute. Super cute. Oh my goodness, so cute. Um, definitely throw some joysticks in front of some small kids and yeah. watch them hammer. Don't give them your best Don't joystick. Don't give them your best joysticks. So. Give them the track and field one. <laughs> yeah. That's really easy to press the button. Yes, 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 yes. Um, yes. Eight tanks. Uh, can't wait till that works and you can um, have, have collisions on it. Hey, yeah. TRB Metroid team. Uh, I guess you like Metro. Um, <laughs> and, of course, Lineman that we played at the end of yeah. the show. Really great game. Awesome, Ken. It's a tiny bit of tweaking, yeah. and you're there, and you've got a, uh, a great game. Yeah. I think it gets a little too hard at the high end as well. The, the pooping frequency no, well, is too much. <sighs> is It needs a bit of... No, it's good for the advanced level. I don't think it's uh, that bad. I like that the birds also dive bombs. That's great. Yeah. Um... Makes it really hard. <laughs> if I might flip the pooping with the dive bombing, like do the dive oh, bombing oh, first. And, right, and then the pooping. And then the pooping, because the pooping is makes it's it really harder. hard because you have to run down, run up, run down. It's much harder, yeah. Whereas the swooping is kind of, uh, is almost easier and I don't know. That would be my suggestion: is to have the the bird swoop before it poops. RC seventy says. You put a quote. You can put this on the box. The pooping frequency is too, too much. much. <laughs> now I have a reason to take out my Commodore sixty four. Oh, for oh, the other right. one, yes. Oh, I got to show that. Okay. Um, so let's take a look at Potty Pigeon, which is what reminded me. Yeah. Of uh, on that. One second. Let me switch over to that screen. So this is the game I was reminded of. Let's get to the gameplay. So you are the yellow bird, I believe. Yeah. And you have to... See, there's your nest right there. And you have to go find... Oh, come on. Let's start the gameplay. You have to fly all over the place, and you're crapping on cars. See, there's some... Um, you picked up a piece for your nest. Okay. You have to bring it back to your nest. 
the collision is terrible on the nest. Okay. So you have to fill it in until it's okay. solid blue. I love that the bird destroys the car. Like, that is yes. some acidic poop right there. You have to put it on the windshield, though. On the windshield. Yeah. See? He's missing. He has to get on the Oh, there's some more. It's dangerous because it's on the ground, so you have to clear the cars away. Oh, oh you ran into it. the bird. The evil bird. There's also butterflies. I can't remember what the... I think they're just points. Oh, no, it's on the roof. Okay. I stand corrected. So, anyway... <laughs> Cute game. Oh, did I even show it? Yeah, I did. I did. Did they it. see it? Did you guys see it? Anyway. Yeah. You're basically causing them to kill themselves in a crash, basically. Yeah. E yes, it's your bird. You don't care. And I think the name of a local uh, computer company. Yeah, they saw it. Yeah, yeah. Wizard Dev. Oh yeah. Or, or is that the developers? Maybe. Oh, just Micro. That was an actual store. Uh, in in uh, the UK. Oh, I see. I see. I think I, see. I read at some point about this game, but super cute game. That go. is so funny. <laughs> oh, um, very creative. So coming up on the show, uh, uh, so it's not this Friday. We're going to pushing it to Saturday. It's going to be at noon. Is that good? Yep. Uh, noon, so same time as usual on Fridays, but it's going to be on the Saturday because yeah. we're not allowed to have Darcy over right yet. Yeah. Not quite. Not quite. Not quite. Uh, we're going to be playing some Atari 8-bit games, Dracula Story at least. Mm -hmm. That's a fun-looking one. Oh, and cool. like two more. I'll, I'll look up two more. Um, and then maybe the next Friday, most likely, we're going to have the Atari Lynx special, I hope. Mm -hmm. Still working that out. Uh, on October 7th, we're going to be having the uh, exclusive world premiere of Load Runner 2600, which is going to be for sale at PRGE. Cool, cool, cool. Um, and that is the last show before PRGE. That's crazy. It's coming up so fast. It is so fast. Oh Can't wait to goodness. get to Portland. Um, but we're going to be live at Portland. We're going to both be there. Yep. So look out for us. Wearing geeky shirts or something. <laughs> something. Uh, so we'll be there um, helping set up on Thursday, playing games on Friday. Yep. Um, doing interviews and buying cool stuff on Saturday. And uh, then hanging out with you guys on Saturday night at uh, Ground Control, the Barcade in Portland. Yay! Uh, until midnight when they kick us out. Yep. Beer and Pocock, we'll see you there! Yes! Yay! Awesome! So there's going to be a lot of devs there, because it hasn't happened in three years, so everybody's been Everyone's gonna be, excited. Yeah. I've got a big list of names that I know from the chat that I've been watching, like, oh, I'm going to be there, I'm going to be there, nice. I've been keeping track. Okay. I don't Very know good. what you guys look like, no, but... No, that's you fine. Know. You know what we look like, so... so. just come up to us and say, <laughs> hi, I'm Beer Pocock. Yeah. And I'll promptly be forget like, oh, your hey. name. I'll know your face, but I'll forget your name immediately. I'll probably remember your handle more than I'll remember oh, the yeah. name. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then we're going to be playing the ABBUC 2022 entries on November 1st. That'll be after they release them to the public. We'll be mm -hmm. going through those. There's some nice looking games there. Excellent. Um, might have to split that into two because mm -hmm. there's like about 10 games is a lot and some of them are pretty complex i may split them into two actually Derpy. Derpy. oh yes we have our tari age badges as well ah. so that's right so it'll be fine oh did i i did ask for one for you so we're good oh nice thank you yeah i appreciate it no problem and i uh, we're going to be doing most likely todd fermansky's developer spotlight before portland retro gaming expo yeah so that'll be in the next couple weeks. So watch out for that. I don't have the date yet. I know it's probably going to be really close to PRGE. So it's probably that one because that's the second, it's the next, the last open one before PRGE. Um, so most likely that's a Tuesday or if he needs a Friday, it'll be that because I think we're almost ready for that. Um, and a bunch of stuff I already talked about last time mm. that's not scheduled yet, so meh. I'll talk about it when it's scheduled. Um, that is it. Time to relax. Play with your cats. Yep. Oh, don't Hi. poke the cats. I don't know if anyone has any of their bits left. They want to feed these guys again, but... 
Oh, it's pretty late. It is pretty for that. late. Yeah. Oh, oh don't, don't buddies. encourage that. Uh, thanks for hanging out. Rendered Ghost, yes. B.R. Pocock, RC7E. No bites left. No, I'm gonna, that's okay. I'm going to put that Save down. Save it for the next too one. Many. Is it too many, you think? I think so. Okay. All the regulars are out of bites. <laughs> so therefore, okay. it's too high. Yeah. Uh, Nostalgic26, Kev Kelly, thank you for making an awesome game. Cafe Man 2D, <laughs> Yorgi's so Castle, mean. TRB Metroid oh. Team. Thanks for dropping in. Chelsea Donnie Mao. Um, you, you, you're being mean. Nostalgic. This guy right here. M Meta Lunar. Meta. Seba, Meta Lunar. Rod Castler. Um, uh, Anthony Nelms, 38. Uh, Ricardo Pim, Pim, thank you for uh, making Hero 2 very fun very and letting fun. us play it on the show. Rendered Ghost, M. Souza 3D, uh, Nathan Strum, and everybody else who chatted in the chat. Yeah, that we thank missed. you for joining us. Hey, Spiceware. Hey, and Spiceware. Yep. Thank you so much for joining us. And uh, we are done until Saturday. <laughs> it's great to be back doing regular shows again. It is. It's a lot less stress. Back to normal. It's, uh, yeah. Uh, so it was so much work doing the 45th anniversary. Oh my goodness. Collecting all that data. You were lining up all the games and just your spreadsheets of what we were gonna play and getting information on them. Researching them, making sure we're not just like I don't know what to do. And <laughs> some yeah. of those we still had said I don't know what to do. Yeah. But uh, yeah. Um, so we will see you. Oh, and old style. Yes. Hey. And uh, so we'll be back Saturday, special day, not Friday, Saturday. Saturday. With her, yep. not Darcy. No Darcy this week. Um, but next time. Next time. So we will yep. see you then. Yep. And oh, he bought eight new games watching that series. Ooh, hey, yeah, Just it Jeff. It's great for new <laughs> games. Hey, Just Jeff. You made it just in time. <laughs> Rewind. Or maybe you're watching the whole time. Yeah. Uh, it was a lot of fun. Play yes. your games. Keep making Space Taxi, please. <laughs> please. It's such a good start. You've got all the mechanics. Great start. Um, okay. See, I saw it. Take a screenshot of that. He's going to make it. He's going to finish the game. Okay. So we'll see you on Saturday. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. -bye.